Hello friends. This is second part of registration tutorial with email verification functionality using OTP method in PHP script. And in this part, we will write PHP script for insert register unique data in MySQL table and then after send email verification email to register user email address with OTP number. For this, we have go to index page, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar error username variable is equal to blank value, and dollar error user email variable is equal to blank value, and dollar error user password is equal to blank value. If this three variable has blank value, then only it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar user activation code variable is equal to md5 function and under this we have write php rand function this code will generate dynamic code next we have write dollar user otp variable is equal to php rand function with this two parameter this code will generate dynamic integer number between this two range now, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write double colon user name, and in value, we have write dollar user name variable. In second key, we have write double colon user email, and in value, we have write dollar user email variable value. In third key, we have write double colon user password, and in value, we have write dollar user password variable value. In fourth key, we have write double colon user activation code, and in value, we have write dollar user activation code variable. In fifth key, we have write double colon user email status, and in value, we have write not verified text. And in last key, we have write double colon user OTP, and in value, we have write dollar user OTP variable, so this way, we have store data, under this dollar data variable in array format. Now we want to write query, which will insert only unique email address data into register user table, so for this, here we have write, dollar query variable is equal to, Insert into register user, with table column like user name, user email, user password, user activation code, user email status, and user OTP. After this, we have write, select star from open and close bracket, and between this, we have write, select double colon user name, user email, user password, user activation code, user email status and user OTP table column, as temporary. Next, we have write where not exits open and close bracket, and between this, we have write select user email from register user, where user email is equal to double colon user email, with limit 1, this query will be execute, only if user email is not exists in register user table. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, 
and under this, we have write dollar $query variable, this statement will make query for execution. After this, for query execution, we have write dollar statement variable, with execute method, and under this, we have write dollar data variable. Now we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar connect variable, with last inserted id function, is equal to zero. This function will return last inserted data id. And if that id is equal to zero, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar message variable is equal to message like email already register. But suppose entered email address is unique, then it will execute else block of code, and in this block, we have to make dynamic email with OTP number and send to register user email address. So first we want to load PHP mailer class, so we have write required statement with class folder, slash class dot php mailer dot php. This statement will load php mailer library, and here class is a folder name in which, we have store php mailer library. Now we want to create object of this php mailer class, so we have write dollar mail variable is equal to new php mailer class. Here we have create dollar mail object of this php mailer class. After this, we start writing php mailer configuration for send email. So we have write dollar mail object with is SMTP method. This method sets mailer to send message using SMTP credential. Below this, we have write dollar mail object with host is equal to SMTP out dot secure server dot net. Here we have defined SMTP host server. After define host server, now we have again, we have write dollar mail object, with post is equal to 80, here we have defined SMTP server port. Now we have write dollar mail object, with SMTP auth is equal to true, here we have to define SMTP authentication, like username and password is required for send email. Next, we have write dollar mail object with username is equal to SMTP username. Here you have to define your SMTP username. If you have then write here. After define username, now we have write dollar mail object with password. Here you have to define your SMTP password. If this both SMTP username and password proper then, it will shoot email. Then after we have write dollar mail object with SMTP secure is equal to blank. Here you can write SSL or TSL, if you have otherwise leave blank. Now we have again write dollar mail object with from option. And here we can define email, from which you have received email, so here we have write tutorial, at the rate webs lesson dot info. Below this, we have write dollar mail object with from name is equal to, webs lesson, here we have sets from name of the message, and this name will be viewed to receiver. Now we want to set receiver email address, so here we have write dollar mail object with add address method, and under this, we have write dollar user email variable, 
so it will send email to register user email address. Below this, we have again write dollar mail object with is HTML method, and under this method, we have read true, so here we have set message type to HTML, otherwise it email format will be plain text. Now we want to define subject of email, so we have write dollar mail object with subject is equal to verification code for verify your email. This is subject of email. And lastly email configuration we want to define email body. So here we have write dollar message body variable is equal to this text. Under this text, here we have write dollar user OTP variable, so it will make dynamic email body with different OTP number. Now, here we have write dollar make variable with body is equal to dollar message body variable, so here we have set email body under this email configuration. Next, for send email, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar mail object with send method. This condition will check, if email send successfully, then it will execute if block, otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose email successfully send, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write echo statement. And here we have write, open and close script tag, and between this, we have write please check your email for verification code, this message will pop up on web page. After this, for redirect page to another web page, here we have write header function, and under this, we have write location double colon, email verify.php, question mark code is equal to, dollar user activation code, it will redirect page to this dynamic URL. But suppose, there is an error in email sending, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar message variable is equal to dollar mail object with error info variable. Here we have store error message under this dollar message variable. For display error message, so here we have write echo statement with dollar message variable. It will display email sending or email already register error message on web page. For display validation error of user name text box, here we have write PHP echo statement with dollar error user name variable. Same way for display error message for user email text box, here we have write PHP echo statement with dollar error user email variable. And lastly, for display user password text box validation error, here we have write PHP echo statement with dollar error user password variable. So here our register form code is ready. So we have checked this register form validation output in browser friends here we can see that when page has been load in browser then on web page we can see register form with three field like user name user email address and user password field with register button First we have directly click on register button, after click on register button, 
Here on web page, we can see validation error like all fields value are required for submit form. So, in username field, we have enter Mike Peterson, and email field, we have enter invalid format email address, and click on register button. Now we have received invalid email address error on web page. So here our validation working properly, so in this part, we have make register form with insert register form data into database, and then after we have write PHP script for send dynamic email to register user with OTP number. In next part, we will make one email verify form, after complete registration process, User will redirect to email verify form, for enter OTP number, after entering OTP number, user email address will be verify, and registration, process will complete.